Hello Internet, I'm Guy. This is a tap handle, as you may recognize it if you've done any machining at all. It's a used one that I found on eBay, and I purchased it because I inadvertently lost one that my friend Topher brought by when we were working on another project. Uh, you might want to look at that recent video where I made a replacement bolt for his Craftsman table saw. So I'm really embarrassed that I lost it, and I acquired this uh, as a replacement. So I'm just going to clean it up. And it's really interesting how these things work and how you take them apart. As you can see here, if you back it all the way off like that, it's a little bit stiff, so I'm going to lubricate it and so forth, but that's fine. Um, what I need to do now is take this screw out, and I can take this part out, and then I can back this off, which is acting even stiffer than I expected. Hold on while I get a screwdriver. Here we are. So it takes a slot head screwdriver. And this is, of course, a little set screw. That then holds this part in. And I already took a bit of a swing at cleaning this up. So it's been uh, sanded down and cleaned up with uh, Scotch-Brite on my Scotch-Brite wheel. So this has improved somewhat. And then uh, this one, if I turn it the right way, I think I have this right. There we are. So I run it all the way out that way, and then I back it out this way. And now this comes out. So I'm going to work on cleaning this up too, and then I might just grind off all this red paint, which is worn off to the point where it's useless anyway, and just clean up the handles. So here we go. So I've got the scotch bright wheel here. I'm just going to start cleaning this up a little bit. So I've got all of these pieces cleaned up and de-rusted and just deburred and looking nicer. So now I'm going to use some Boshiel T9. This was invented by Boeing a long time ago and it is a perfect waterproof lubrication that leaves a slight residue of, um, I forget what it is, but some kind of uh, waxy finish. It says thin waxy film on here. So a very small amount will do it. Just a little shot. Oops, that was on my thumb. <laughs> and just rub it on all over the place here. And this will leave this protective layer of film all on here once it's dried off. If you haven't found this stuff before, it's a little pricey, but boy, it lasts forever. You can use a can of this, it'll last the rest of your life because you really don't use very much. So as you can see, a bunch of dirt came off partly from the uh, Scotch-Brite and partly from all of the metal that I've ground off and so forth, but now it's all clean and shiny. I'm going to put just a drop of vintage 3-in-1 oil that I've had around for many decades and screw this in. That goes in a long way. All right, now then this drops in here and let's see. That backs off like that, and then the screw hole is there like that. Plop that little pointed set screw in there, and I'll tighten that down. Oops, that goes in quite a long way. I'm going to snug it down firmly so that part doesn't wander off. And there we are, a nice, shiny, new, restored tool. I'm hoping my friend will appreciate that I've cleaned it up and made it almost as good as new. Incidentally, what I discovered in there under the red paint is the brand, which is an OK brand, number 16, and a couple of other marks that are not legible. I really don't know how old this is, but it is vintage. <laughs> 